a good rise in family. Get a family a chance to kind of come in here right quick. Hopefully everyone's doing all right today. Just giving everybody a chance to kind of come in, you know, get a, get notified. Cause we know how that works. Or not notified. We know how that works. Shalom, shalom, family. Good seeing you. And of course, we get started. People want to start playing their music all loud now, right? <laughs> mm. That's about, about how this works now, right? It's all nice and quiet, and we're ready to get started. And people want to start playing their music all out all of a sudden. Like I said, you just tell, like, you know, every everything is um, <laughs> no, nothing by chance, right? Nothing by chance. Here, just walk over this way a little bit. Right, it, ne it never fails. Right, never fails. You've been it's been all nice and quiet, nothing going on. Trying to go live, and all of a sudden, people want to start blaring music for no reason. Yeah, you know. But that's all right, though. The man, uh, you know, so I've been looking at all these people talking about uh, all these things that are happening right now. <clears throat> you know. All these things happening right now with the other uh, nations telling their people to get out of uh, Ukraine. You know, telling people to get 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 their stuff and get out. They got big things coming right now. Got big things coming right now. You know, and that's exactly where we're at right now. You know, I mean, everything revolves around the Israelites. You know, that's really the time clock. And as as you can see, as we will go ahead and uh, get more knowledge, understanding every time the Most High downloads more information to us, you know, uh, big events transpire between the Gentiles. And that's exactly what's been happening right now. You know, I so said, that's exactly what's happening right now. Said, like, like all of a sudden, you know, we, we know they're watching because uh, they're very reactionary. You know, they're just reacting to things all the time. But that's, but that's all they can do. You know what I'm saying? All they can do is react to the truth. There's no truth in them. So it's not like the truth is working with them. So all they can do is react, you know, to uh, what's going on. I just, can't, I just can't believe this right now with these people playing all this music. Like all of a sudden, you know, right when uh, we get ready to go live. Just play it louder and louder, too. The further I get away, the louder this dude turns it up. Yeah, I was listening to uh, Off Grid, you know, and he was just talking about pretty much China telling their people to get out and all of the allies of Russia, you know, telling their people to get out. You know, and um, to get out, to get to get out of Kiev and get out of Ukraine. You know, I said because they because they know like I said it's it's about to be on. And, you know, and like I said, it just it just confirms that, like I said in the last video, you know, they're going, the Gentiles are driving in a you know a breakneck speed, 100 miles an hour down the road, brick wall right in front of them, and instead of hitting the brakes, they're mashing that gas. And that's exactly what they're doing right now. All gas, no brakes. That's exactly what they're doing right now. You know, but that just shows you because it's the times that we're in. You know, because I heard them yesterday. Oh, well, you know, it's like cooler heads are prevailing and people are trying, maybe going to come together and, and negotiate. It looks like the other people from NATO are trying to break away and, 
you know, they don't they don't want war with uh, with Russia. I was like, it don't matter what they want. It matters what the Most High says is going to happen. And if He says, you know, that there's going to be a war and there's going to be death and there's going to be destruction, there's no way out of it for them. There's no way out of it. You know, no, no Orange County today, nah. So. You know, there's, 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 there's not going to be any of that. The hooks in the jaws, exactly. You know, and someone was talking, you know, there's even comments about older videos talking about the, um, the Irish. And he was just trying to, oh, I've never heard of any black Irish before. And, you know, and you're like, kind of like, pretty much like, you're making all this stuff up. And, and it's, it's, it's now, well, I was like, I'm like, I'm sorry. I said, think about it. When uh, our books were being written, did you hear about white Irish back then? When our, our records were being put together thousands of years ago, were there white Russians back then too? Were there right white Americans that were running everything at that time? Right? No. So to sit there and like uh, try to act like a prophecy was dealing with these kinds of people, you know, back then, I said, is, is pretty, pretty ridiculous. You know, you can't look at uh, the people that were there writing the scriptures at that time. Uh, and then you know, how they looked and, and the families that were being talked to and things like that. But then all of a sudden try to apply prophecies and the things that are being fulfilled right now to people that are there today, because it has nothing to do with them. You see what I'm saying? I say, we can go to the uh, Russian icons book and it'll show you that the people back then were so-called black people. I said, so if everything back then uh, was revolving around so-called black people. And that's when the scriptures were being written and, you know, people where the prophets were talking and, and everything else. That would it make sense then that the uh, true prophecies would revolve around those same people today? You see what I'm saying? And they try to use Aryan. And that's actually what the angelic sons of Isaac. It's not even talking about the Aryans of like white Aryans that you talk about today. You see what I'm saying? Like they've taken all of our, all of our wording, all of our titles, Put them on themselves and make it seem as if you know like that's what they were talking about back then and even with the irish it's like hold on we got these books that show you that they rewrote all the history they got our history and they rewrote it and they anglicized the names you know they changed the names they changed the pictures made everybody white and now you hear people like this idiot today or come making a comment oh, i never heard of black irish or black British before. I'm like, yeah, because they changed everything. And if you're that far behind, you really shouldn't be leaving any comments. You should really go do some studying before you start making comments. You Romanized, you know, they Romanized names and Romanized people, you know, they tried their best to make it seem as if the people that are there now today were the ones um, that was, it was talking about back then. And we know that that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Brother kurumeo has got videos on that. There's plenty of videos out there right now. So it's like, you know, there's plenty of information. If, but you, you want to stick with the lie, which is fine. If you want to stick with the lie, go stick with the lie. But don't come here making comments about, you know, there's no such thing as Black Irish. There's no such thing as Black British. There's no such what I mean, based off of what? You know, I said, because you guys are talking about countries that were barely made up, you know, less than a couple hundred years ago. A lot of these names of these places were just barely made up a couple hundred years ago. They were not referring to uh, places that were here thousands of years ago. You know, so, but, but like I said, as the Most High gives us more information and more understanding, every single time he gives us more, uh, that just does not bode well for the Gentiles. And that's exactly what's happening right now. Now that the Most High has given us more understanding about the subterranean worlds, and he's making the connections between like the books of Enoch and these subterranean worlds. Like book of, uh, Enoch knew about all this stuff. You know, he, he was totally aware of all this stuff, you know, about this information, about the, um, the underworld and, and the subterranean worlds, all that other stuff. So he was aware of it and he wrote about it. And it's like, you know, we, because our eyes were closed, didn't, didn't make those connections. You know, I said we weren't making those connections. And now the Most High is making those connections for us and opening up our eyes. And every time he does that, you know, every time he does that, big events happen between the Gentiles.
every time. But, you know, and like I said, and, and I talked about that thing with, with Kanye. It's like, yeah, that's, that's cool that he said that we're the blacks of the Jews. We've been saying that for years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the Hebrews are the, exactly Sister Lisa Cabrera. The Hebrews are the original Europeans, exactly. Now you got all these people, you know, that they'll say, just like a, just like these pastors, <clears throat> what do they do? They'll, they'll have a sermon and they'll admit the truth one time. They'll say, yeah, you know, black people, you know, they've been going through this thing, going through that, and God's going to, you know, God is going to release them from that and, and God's going to, um, you know, restore them. They'll say it once or whatever else. And then the next week they go right back to the same agenda that they had before. You know what I'm saying? They'll, they'll, you know, they'll go back to the same thing that they did before. And that's exactly what even, like I said, even people that are supposedly in the truth. Oh yeah, the American, yeah, over here. You know, there were the 10 tribes were over here. You know, yeah, look at, look over here in second Ezra's and, and 13 and this is, this is that, blah, blah, blah. But then, They'll admit it once, and then they'll go right back to, it, but, but we were all we all came from Africa. You see what I'm saying? Like they'll admit a little bit of truth, and then they'll right, right, go right back to you know Israel's over there in the so-called Middle East, and they'll stick with that. Or you know, oh the canonized you know those canonized books, so we got to read only those books. You know what I'm saying? It's like um, you can't have it both ways. You can't sit there and say one thing one time one way. If you're gonna admit that. The twelve, you know, the ten tri lost tribes were over here. Then why don't you talk about their records? If you're going to admit that the, that the ten lost tribes were over here, then when are you going to start talking about their records? Where are their records? Why don't you start to question the church as to where are those records? Where are those prophecies? You see what I'm saying? Like they don't, they don't do that. They don't talk about the records of the ten tribes. Like they didn't write. The only records that matter are from the Southern Kingdom, and that's it. You know, and even I was talking to my brother, the 12, but I'm like, you know, when you start looking at, you like the Bible and you're looking at Moses, Moses only gives us he, uh, a small amount of information. The first five books of the Bible, where's all the other thousands of years of records? Where's all of that? Trust me, um, our, when the Spanish got over here, talk about this in the Florentine Codex, uh, the the uh, Spaniards were out talking to, they, they sent a message to Moctezuma and he says, and then they said to them, you're not going to be able to hide from us. You're not going to be able to run from us because they, they, the Spaniards knew that they were being blessed to be able to come over here and take over. So they were telling Moctezuma, they sent a message to Moctezuma, you won't, as I said, this is in the Florentine Codex. So it says, you know, you're not going to be able to hide from us. You're not going to be able to trick us. You know, you know what are you going to do? Are you going to go and hide? Uh, in one of your uh, underground, uh, in your mountains? Are you gonna go and, you know, hide in your mountains? So they were well aware. They'd already been told about this subterranean world when they got over here. You know, I said, they are, they, are, they are already been aware. They're already aware of the subterranean world. They were trying to get over here and find El Dorado, remember? And I was talking to some family members and they were once talking about, you know, you know if you look, if now we start to look at these movies, you start to see all this stuff. And they were, they were bringing it to my attention that in the movie El Dorado, uh, the Disney movie, that actually El Dorado, I think, was it underground? Do they have to go through some caves to actually get to uh, the city of El Dorado? If, if you guys remember that, please put it in the chat. You know, I said, we really got to start looking at these movies through these spiritual eyes now. So it's because the most high is, these, these Gentiles were not allowed to just take all the truth and just hide it. They've been putting it in movies this whole time. They've been putting it in the movies the whole time. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see that Pedro Rosas. Uh, so but, uh, Bushcraft Bear from a, a La Palma just posted a video of pyramids popping up from the sea off the coast. Yep. So and if you guys remember, it was at El Dorado. I said, I, I want to say they said it was in, you had to go through a cave and then kind of go like underground in order to get to this uh, golden city. So like I said, they got, they got that right there. Uh, someone uh, posted in the comment section, you gotta check out these comments because people are putting, well, the ones they leave up, you know, you, you know how this is working, how a lot of these comments are being taken down, but they were talking about the uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, it was a great comment. Um, the Lord of the Rings is like our history too. And it was talking about the nine rings to rule them all. And the one ring to rule them all was going to be Solomon's ring. 
You see what I'm saying? And Solomon's ring. And we know Solomon had that ring of power to control all those demons, to control all those, you know, he could control all those different spirits. So he had that ring of power. Yeah, that cartoon, yeah, the road to El Dorado, exactly. So it's like, hey, great seeing you there, sister spiritual, like, spirit, I see you there, Pat, sister Pat, great seeing you. You know, I was like, come on now. I said, they, they, they're putting these things out there and we just kind of didn't realize that they, they really were just telling our story. I said that years ago about the Lord of the Rings too. I was like, ah, this is starting to sound like too much, but now it's like, you really started to get into it now. Like, you started to, I've watched that movie so many times, but now we're kind of going through it. You can get so much more information. So much more information. Cause you start putting it together. Just like uh, I had thought about this a while ago, but someone put this in the comments as well. And thank you about Zion and the matrix was underground. Do you guys remember that part about Zion and the movie and the matrix movies was actually located underground in a subterranean world. So then if you think about that, you know, and you're talking about Canaan was actually uh, what the Hebrew, how the Hebrews referred to um, Shambhala and Agarti, they referred to it as Canaan. And Canaan was uh, actually our, you know, our lands as well. And like I said, was that where some of the, uh, the Bible was taking place? Underground in the subterranean world. You see, I mean, you, like I said, you see how, how deep this is. Yes, you're right about that. Guardians of the Galaxy, getting all the rock, the stones of power. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I mean, if you really look at like the Gentiles now and you really see like how little understanding they have, then you have to understand that they, they, they're not capable of coming up with this information. They're not capable of coming up with these great thoughts and these great ideas. So therefore they must be getting it from somewhere. You see what I'm saying? I says, and they must be getting it from somewhere. And we know that the only ones that have kinds of records were our records. Terminator was underground too, yep. And, you know, they're talking about, um, you know, using nuclear weapons and all this other stuff. And see, I'm sure they've already been warned because uh, in the video I just did, you know, it was talking about pretty much how, hey, you guys can't be out here just popping off and dropping bombs wherever you feel like it. So the aliens were telling them, hey, you just can't be coming over here and just doing whatever the hell you think you want to do because this stuff affects us. You just can't be coming over here and just dropping stuff however you feel like it. I said, because, uh, I, I, you know, you're messing with our air. You're messing with our water, you know. And it's like 80 years later, they're right back to getting ready to do the same thing. He said, I don't think it's going to go down the way they think it is. So I don't think it's going to go down the way they think it is. So they keep talking. Like I said, as they get closer and closer, I said, they, there is no turning back for them. You know, they keep on, they, they don't recognize the fact that, um, they don't recognize the fact that they don't have an option to stop this anymore. They keep talking about, well, we want peace and we want to work things out. And, you know, we can't, we just come together and figure this out. No, no, you can't. I said, there is not going to be any peace. I said, the Most High is going to pretty much wipe you out. I said, your time of your run is done. The ones that get to stay are the ones that are going to be cleaving to the Most High chosen people. That's what it says. Go read, you know, Isaiah, Isaiah 14. There, there is no, there is no peace. Right? They turned Thanos into a, a, a villain. Exactly. Right? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's too late for peace. They never wanted peace before. I said, but now it's now times are different, you know. So, you know, just sitting here listening to about them telling their, their citizens and to hurry up and get out of Ukraine and to hurry up and get out of Kiev and and whatever else. You know, I said, as you can tell, things are different. And that's why we got to, you know, we got to keep on getting this information, bringing this out, making these connections, because like I said, there's no place for them to hide. 
Melchizedek came from a cave, exactly. Yeah, and I said the Most High is proving them to be liars. Like, no matter what they do, it's like the Most High is like, okay, well, I'm going to wait for y'all to say something, and all of a sudden I'm going to I'm gonna disprove what you just said. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you guys say something else, and I'm going to disprove that too. Yeah, you can't, there's, no, there's no place to run to, you know. I said, um, I'm going to share a couple of things. I'm going to have to end up making a couple of videos on this information. I said, some of it, like I said, is, well, a lot of it, I said, is above my pay grade. I mean, I'm, I'm going to share it with you and let you see it yourselves. Um, but it's information that I can't quite figure out. Um, but a sister had turned me on to a couple of these books a year or two ago. I got the books, but I didn't make any videos off of it because, like I said, it wasn't time. I just didn't have the understanding. Um, and then I kind of found, I got one of them last night, pulled it out, started reading and it just, it just goes exactly with what the Most High is bringing out right now. You know, I said, it goes exactly to what, what the Most High is bringing out right now. So I'm going to bring I'm going to let you guys see it, um, and check it out and see what you guys can make out of it. I said, but like I said, it just, uh, it just showing you that Lord of the Rings, all these movies, Return of the Jedi and Empire Strikes Back, all this stuff. I said, this dude be, needs to be making money over hand over fist, you know, with all of our stuff. Yep, another sun within the hollow earth, exactly. You know, like I said, I mean, hey, Aquaman, same thing. You know, he went into the inner earth. You know, they, it was a small little part of the movie, but nonetheless, they still went ahead and showed you that there was, you know, there's these lands and these places inside the earth. Yep, all these Avenger movies are about us, exactly. And see, as soon as I left a little bit, Zeus stopped his music. I'm going to go back over here real quick again and try to show you guys. I was going to show you guys a couple of the books, and that's when Zeus started blaring his music. We'll see what happens this time. But, you know, I've been hearing people, you know, you can hear some of these preppers in their channel like, yeah, you got to make sure that, hey, you're, 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 you know, you're making, getting your relationship with Jesus and you're getting ready because, you know, there's these, there's these other doctrines that are coming out right now that you need to make sure that you're really uh, not, you know, you're, you're, you're staying away from. I was like, I wonder which uh, doctrines y'all talking about, because all the other stuff has been a bunch of BS. All your guys' doctrines has been nothing but a bunch of BS. And they're all pretty much the same. They all revolve around Cesare Borgia. They all revolve around white Jesus coming and saving you. I said, yeah, y'all, and y'all didn't use white Jesus to uh, pretty much do whatever it is you want. You pretty much use it just to get yourselves into a position of power. You use white Jesus to get yourselves into a position of power, how no one can question you. And if they do, it's all, oh, you're a hate group or, oh, you're in a cult and anything else. And it's like, yeah, you can use whatever names you want at this point. It doesn't matter. You know, I say call, using calling people names and calling out and names outside the, you know, outside the names or whatever else, calling us outside the names. I said, that doesn't, doesn't do anything anymore. Black Adam looks good too. Yep. Cause now like I said, when we look at these, uh, these movies and shows, we're going to look at them with a different perspective, you know, let's see here, pick this up a little bit. Okay, first one. Check this out. Voyagers. Sister turned me on to this book. Like I said, it's probably a year or two ago. I got the books, tried to read them. Like I told you, above my pay grade. Above my pay grade. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's a volumes one and two. I gotta uh, dig volume one out. This is volume two, okay? But I wanna show you also still something from here. Let's see, page 271. 
you gotta check out the title of this chapter right here. Shambhali, Brahma, and Anu Melchizedek, races of inner earth. This is giving you information. Like I told you, I'll probably end up having to do like a regular video so you guys can actually get a better view. Because there's actually quite a bit of information in here. I'm talking about the races that are present inside the um, inner earth. So I'll give you all a chance to kind of pause it and check it out your ch yourself. Now you start to see like why, you know, there's so little in the Bible written about this information. I mean, you, write, you can write books alone. You're talking about thousands and thousands of years of information. But in the Bible, it barely even talks about Melchizedek. I don't know where my stream went. I, all of a sudden, no, no, I'm not getting any, uh, <laughs> any comments on anything. And thank you again to the moderators. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, so again, Shambhali, Brahma, and Anu Melchizedek, races of inner earth. This book tells you about all these different events that were going on um, thousands of years before, like all the stuff that was before um, Moses was writing. That's why I said I'm going to have to uh, probably, like I said, be looking out for another video later on. If I get a chance, I'll try to make another video later on and bring out some more of this information. Because it's talking about Lumeria, presently the Anno Melchizedek. Anunnaki human biogenesis races exiled from the surface from the from surface earth during the Lumerian and Atlantean cataclysm of 50,000 BC 28,000 BC and 9,558 BC represent one of the largest populations in the inner earth territories of Agartha <laughs> You see what I'm saying like you know Yeah, these books they're hard to find too and it's like, if this book was nothing but a bunch of BS, you know, why is it so hard to get a hold of? Why is this information so hard to get a hold of? I think I'm gonna read a little bit of the back right here so y'all can see some more of this information right here. Like I said, a lot of these things that we have been happening, I said there's much deeper meanings to what's been happening. So this lets you know about what's down there in the subterranean worlds. They're, they're well aware of this information. It says they're, they're well aware of this information. It says on September 12th, 2000, a global event of paramount significance occurred within the covert infrastructure of the new age. UFO and Illuminati movements on September 11th, 2001 in preparation of the first anniversary of the September 12th, 2000 event. The trigger event of the World Trade Center Pentagon terrorist attack was launched as the first step in the intended 2011 fulfillment of a hidden global agenda that reaches far backward in time. Okay, Earth is poised at the cusp of a great new age, long predicted in Hopi prophecies, the Mayan calendar and biblical revelation. Humanity will now determine whether this new age is destined to become a free age of genuine enlightenment or a new dark age of one world dominion. The origins of uh, our contemporary dilemma uh, and its sol solutions extend back into the greatest secrets of the ancient past. It is, it's not a choice. Well, it's a choice for some. It's a choice, I'm sure, like they make it sound like Either we can pick to go into what we were just in, or we're gonna go into a new enlightened age. As if like the Most High doesn't uh, decide. You know what I'm saying? Like men make those decisions. So that's the Most High is making those decisions. But like I said, I, I know it's, a, it's kind of hard to see. So like I said, I'll, I'll try my best to actually make some copies and then maybe we'll, we'll make another video and bring some of this out and, and connect it with some of the other books. Like I said, this is what, when we, as we've been working together, to get this information. I said, this is what we've been doing. You might not always see 
the books right away that I, the Most High ends up blessing us with. I says, but the Most High is the one that brings them out when he's ready. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, I appreciate everyone that's been helping um, and supporting me. I said, because um, the Most High has been preparing us for this time. These, some of these books, I'm telling you, they're, they're really hard to find. And, um, but the Most High made me get them years ago, knowing that, you know, by the time we needed them, they're going to be probably impossible to find. You see what I'm saying? Like, like the Most High is playing chess, you know, while the rest of the world, you know, isn't even in the game. So he's like, okay, you're going to need this book. So let me go ahead and get it right now. You know, get it, put it away. You're not ready for it yet. Put it away. I says, but I want you to make sure you have it and you're ready to go. So when it's time, we're going to bust these, this information out. We're gonna, then we're going to bring this information out. Then we're going to give you more understanding. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, very expensive, uh huh. And, then, and like I said, this is just more proof that it's the Most High. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's more proof because I mean, who, who else can make all these these things work out? Who else can make all this you know this information just all connect seamlessly here at the end? Talking, you know, talking that now, now we're learning about um, Agartha, Shambhala, and now this book is telling you who's down there. This book is letting you know who are the ones that are down there. He's letting you know when do they get there. He's letting you know why um, were they exiled out of here and put down there. And of course, people are going to say, oh, well, where do they get their information from? Where are their sources? Who cares, man, what you guys have to say as far as sources and whatever else? Because we're going to ask you, who are your sources? Now, if you started talking about the Greeks, we're going to say, well, who are their sources? Because they didn't have any of this information. You see what I'm saying? Like, they want us to provide sources, provide proof, but they, prov they provide nothing. You see what I'm saying? Because all they do is talk about Pliny, they talk about the Greeks, but we understand that they stole all their information from us. You know what I'm saying? I said they stole all our information from us. So they don't have any um, primary sources. The primary sources were, uh, were us, and then we lost all of our knowledge and understanding. You know, or they made it, they, they, they took away, you know, they pretty much took away our standing as being the primary sources so that they could be the primary sources of everything. You see what I'm saying? But, you know, I said, I'm going to get my uh, first edition. Well, this is the second edition. I'm going to get the first book. I'm going to take a look at it. And then whatever the Most High wants me to bring out, I'll bring out. But like I said, just because you don't... Well, we bring out quite a bit of information. But the Most High will... He will dictate when we bring out some of these books. Because for a while, he just won't give you understanding. And then the book will just, it'll be like Chinese for us. Then all of a sudden, it'll start to make sense. All of a sudden, it'll start to make connections. Okay. I'm going to wait on that. Because some of the stuff has to be brought out, like I said, like a regular, like regular videos. You know what I'm saying? Some of the stuff has to be brought out like in regular videos. It's, it's hard to bring out um, in lives. And stuff like that, you know, because I want you guys to be able to get good a good view of the information. Yeah, like I said, there, there's two uh, volumes. There's volume one and volume two. But is it not is it not beautiful though family i mean and there's some more information here let me see if i can get it i had um i was kind of going through here i just thought that was beautiful though that on 270 when that shambhala rama and anu melchizedek races of inner earth it was absolutely amazing So there's been a whole lot of information that has been uh, just hidden and at the Most High is going to give it back to us, you know? Okay. 
I'm gonna share this right here. Like I said, this is definitely gonna have to be on a video, but I'm gonna try to share it so you guys can take a look at it, okay? It's called Progression of Major Events and the Atlantean Conspiracy. And like I said, what, what did they do? Oh, Atlantis? Oh, that wasn't true. That was fake. You know, that's not a, that's not a true place. That's not true. You know, that's all mythology. But now there's all these places that are popping up. Pyramids and, and uh, <laughs> cities and stuff like that that they can actually see at the bottom of the ocean. But do they explain any of that? Of course they don't. You know? Okay. So check this out. I'll check you guys check it out. Hoping you guys can see it. This page right here. Well, this I'll slowly go. And what you can do is you can kind of read it. And you can pause it later, okay? There. This is on page 319. And it kind of gives you like a timeline of events that happened, you know, all the stuff that Moses just kind of left out. <laughs> all these other events that were kind of going on that, you know, just kind of left out of the Bible. So, like I said, you can't think that you could put all these events um, in one book. That's why it's just amazing to sit there and, and hear people act as if somehow you're going to have everything uh, in one book. Like even these books, which have a lot of information, I'm sure they're missing, I'm sure, quite a bit of information. So what I'll do is like I said, I'll put it up. And what you can do is you can just kind of pause it later. It's going to take a little homework on you on your part okay next page right here quite a few pages of information yeah it talks about a lot of this information being in the himalayas underground that like i said you know a lot of the uh a lot of our brethren here and with the incas they hid and they took a lot of the um information they took a lot of our gold took a lot of that and uh, hid it in these um, in these caverns, and another one uh, one of the subscribers put information about uh, uh, I want to say um, I took pictures of it. I got to I'm gonna have to probably end up going and making a video just with some of the comments. Um, but you remember the, the part where the angel came down um, to the temple and uh, he got like the vestments of the priests. He got like the stones of the priest. He got the Ark of the Covenant, among other things. And he told the earth to open up and he stored all this, all of these things inside the earth. He stored all this inside the earth. So which would make sense because you got all these caverns, you got all this stuff, you know, and it's pretty much you're gonna hold it, hold on to it until it's time for us to wake up again. And it'll open earth right back up and give it right back to us once again. Like I said, is that the most high beautiful? You know, he said, giving us this information. It wasn't time to bring it out a while ago. You know, I said, but now the most high is giving it back to us. Yep, these are not fairy tales exactly. These are events that really occurred. I said, the people who, I mean, the Gentiles have actually been, what? As the most high, what did the Most High say? You know, pretty much the Gentiles are going to have any understanding whatsoever, right? So if they don't have any understanding, then who are they to be the ones to say, oh, we don't accept that. Oh, that, that information is not good. We don't accept that information. Well, that's cool. It, maybe it had nothing to do with you. That's why you don't accept it. But the Most High is now giving it back to the ones that it belongs to. And that's what matters. Okay, it says you got a lot, of, a lot of homework here. Things you guys can check out right there. <laughs> Originally, this book was 26 bucks. Is it that bad? Okay. That blurry, sorry about that. Like I said, I'm trying the best here, but like I said, if I have to, I'll, do, I'll make a video, put some of this information out. We'll kind of talk about it, start making some more connections because hey, we know this is probably gonna be another, another crazy week. So the more information that we bring out, the crazier it gets for the Gentiles. 
You see what I'm saying? Like I've noticed that the cra the more information that we bring out, the crazier it gets for them. I th hope you guys are seeing the same thing that I'm seeing. That's why they've been trying to get you to talk about the same things. Oh, black people are the Jews. Yeah, yeah bro, we, we, we got that already, man. Not all, we, and that's an oversimplification. I said, that's an oversimplification. You know, I said, but, but, but I understand why you guys oversimplify everything because you don't have the understanding or the spirit to really go in deep. You know, you don't have the information, you don't have the spirit to go in deeper. So if you don't really have, if the information was never given to you and you don't have the spiritual, you know, connection with the most high to, um, to accept this information, then of course you're gonna have to oversimplify everything. You know, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're definitely gonna have to um, oversimplify everything because the uh, ability to actually go deeper is not in you. So if the, if the ability to go deeper is not in you, then it would probably make sense to shut your mouth have a seat and, and follow the ones that the Most High is giving us information to. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to me, I mean, to me, that's that's what I'm saying. It would make sense. This is why the Most High says to cleave to Israel, to cleave to his chosen people, because he's giving knowledge, understanding to his people. So therefore, if you want the opportunity to get exposed to more information, um, it would make sense then for you to follow them cleave to them i said but what you're listening to you have no problem listening to a pastor or a priest or a or a guy who just wants to make a video and it, it does it really matter who you listen to the stories are all the same their breakdowns are all the same i don't care if you say you're you know a baptist a presbyterian you know a catholic you know a non-denominational it's still all going to go back to why Jesus came to die for you, you don't have to pay for anything, and you're gonna get raptured. Simple as that. He always wants you winning. Why Jesus always wants you to win. And you don't have to pay for anything. And when people who bring up anything about the past, you know, um, you can just ignore them because they don't know what they're talking about. That's it. I mean, so, so I mean, we can all easily see, you know, the priesthood of Mahan and their breakdowns. So if that's what you want, that's that's cool. But see, now when you get hit with in the face with information like this, now what do you do with that? Run, run and ask your pastor about that. Run and ask your pastor about. Can you prove to us that there's not, you know, a subterranean world? Can you prove to us that these so-called people that are say they're the Israelites are not the Israelites? Can you prove it? Yeah, and all they're gonna say is, well, it doesn't matter who the Israelites are now. You're 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 spiritually Israel. Okay. Now, if you want to believe that, I said, you go do that. I said, but you just got to understand. How about that uh, Jeremiah 16, 19? How all the Gentiles are going to be saying, you know, my father's have inherited lies. Have your pastor explain that. <clears throat> so apparently if, you know, there's a whole bunch of people that are going to be totally surprised here at the end. Because their fathers have inherited lies and they've just given them lies. So a bloodline is very important, right? So now we're now we're seeing that you know they're talking about UFOs. You know, I, I've been seeing these uh, these huge ships just popping up, showing up. Um, things that they said they've never seen before just popping up all over the place. Do you think there's a reason why these ships or these anomalies are just popping up all over the place? I said, you do. Do you do you think it's just a coincidence that they're all just popping up all of a sudden? You don't think it has anything to do with the Israelites awakening, uh, coming, like I said, that Genesis 15, 13. After we serve our 400 years, punishment is going to go to the ones that enslaved us. There's no if, ands, or buts. There's no way around it, whatever else. That's what's coming. Now the Most High has given us back our knowledge and understanding. He's expanding it daily. And he's exposing the ones that have been used to... Uh, keep us at a very low frequency you know I said so vengeance is the most highs he's the one that dictates not me not anyone not any of us I said the most high is yeah the dregs are switching exactly they're drinking their dregs now and they all know that something is going on 
but your pastors ain't telling you nothing. You know, I said, so now as you see, you know, all they're doing is fight between Putin and Biden and they're, they're having their words and back and forth and their threats back and forth. All it's gonna take is one event. When the Most High says that event is, is a go, that's it. And then everything's gonna spiral out of control. Everything is gonna spiral out of control. You guys remember, I'm gonna read it, um, not today, I'll probably, I'll probably do it in a video because I gotta probably bring a lot of this information and put it all together. But I, did, I read about the Shepherd of Hermas is one of my favorite uh, stories. But it totally talks about like, it talks about like pretty much putting all your eggs in the basket here on the surface world. And that if you do that, you can't return back to your world. Now it starts to make a lot more sense. Like it's talking about, is that talking about our world being like the subterranean world that we come from. And that if you come here and you've given everything to this existence, how is it that you're going to be able to return back to your world when you've put all of your eggs in the basket here, when you wanted to and, and enjoy all the dainties here? Uh, it goes back to the rich man and Lazarus again and that great gulf, you know, that, that separates them, you know? How the rich man had all of his fun and everything else here. And it's crazy that, you know, he still thought that he was in a high position because when he was, you know, going through his torments, he's like still trying to, to uh, tell Lazarus to do things for him. Have Lazarus come over here and give me some water. I'm burning over here. We'll send Lazarus back to my family in order to, uh, you know, <clears throat> in order to uh, warn them. It, it, like, like he didn't realize that, you know, <laughs> that your, your days of, of being on top and, and, and ordering people around and people looking up to you are over with. All that time is over with. I said, I mean, even in, even in the afterlife, they still seem to think that, you know, that they know stuff and that they're above you and that you need to listen to them. So yeah, so it's, it's kind of like, even like right now, even though the Most High is exposing them and showing them that they don't know anything, um, they still think that they're above us all the way till the end. Even after, even in the afterlife, they seem to think that way as well. You know, you know how people will try to dismiss this information, dismiss these books, and they haven't even read them themselves. You know, that's something that they've been really good at, dismissing information, dismissing books, and things that they haven't even read themselves. You know, when I hear people say things like that, you know, oh, that book's a magic book, that book's this book. Have you read it? No. Well, then how do you know what it is? Even if you read a lot of these books, trust me, you're not going to understand it because the stuff, the information is hella deep and it's not something that you can just, all right, I read it once, man. All right, I, I got it. You know, I mean, even the Bible, which is basic instructions before leaving earth, is not easy to just understand like you read it once how many times have we read the bible especially recently and now all of a sudden we're getting more understanding how many times have, have we been reading the bible you know we read it for most of our lives and now we read it even more now um how many times have we read it and it's like i didn't see that before we were seeing it now with um the subterranean information you're seeing like stuff that i didn't know about that about the, about the subterranean stuff i didn't realize that was in the bible i didn't realize that John 3, 16, exactly, right? So yeah, so like I said, it just shows you that people who sit there and try to discount information, whatever else, I said, you're all part of the priesthood of Mahan. That's what they've been doing this whole time. Taking all this information, hiding it, and then when you find it, dismissing it. Very, yes, the marriage about exactly, very complicated, very complex. But see, that's where, you know, we're a nation. There's going to be some brothers and sisters who are going to be able to read it and also is going to give them more knowledge and understanding and they're going to be the ones that are going to have to break it down for us. You know, so, you know, so, and that, and that, and that again, that goes back to, that, that goes back to um, the Most High making you cleave to Israel, cleave to all of Israel. Yeah, I know a lot of people are not getting notified. We already understand. We, we know what's going on. You know, 
I said notifications and, and stuff like that. You know, you're just gonna have, if you don't get it now, you just have to kind of get back here and check it out later. But it's great to be able to actually come together and, and bounce ideas off each other and, and spend some time together um, here. Because I said, we don't have an opportunity as much. And like I said, when there's, and there's not like a whole lot of places for us to kind of go back and forth and, and, and share information, I said, because uh, there's very few people in this troop. Yeah, like I said, I'll make some pictures, I'll take some pictures, get this information up, uh, most high willing, and try to share some more of this later on. So like I said, be on the lookout, because you you're probably not gonna get uh, notified about it either. But like I said, but you just, it's, it's funny listening to a lot of these other channels and a lot of these other um, uh, people, I said, because like I said, it's just, it's a very mundane <clears throat> existence for them right now, but I said, because they're just reacting to a lot of the news and a lot of it's just a lot of fear tactics. I says because of the times that we're in right now. Is it a lot of fear tactics because of the times that we're in right now? You know, I said, hey, you just imagine you've been lied to. We we went through this a, a while ago. We went through you know this this process a while ago. When we realized that we were lied to about absolutely everything. Now the Gentiles are, are starting to slowly realize the same things that we realized, except. A lot of them don't have any hope. We realize that we've been lied to about a lot of things, but we had hope that the Father was going to restore us and uh, restore us back to you know our original positions. A lot of these other nations are realizing they've been lied to and they don't have the Father to restore them back or or they've made um <clears throat> you know they've made covenants with the priesthood of Mahan and they don't have the opportunity to go back to the most high. checking out some of your guys's comments but thank you family what i'm gonna do i'm gonna let you guys go i'll uh take a look at some of this information i'm gonna try to find my uh first volume as well and see what i can find there and like i said and there's other information from other books i've been reading already that i'm gonna kind of connect with some of this some of it will just be pictures where you can still read it on your own uh, if i can try to put some of the pictures up somewhere else where you guys can actually check them out yourselves i'll do that as well um but like I said, thank you again for all the support. I said, as you, as you can see, um, how the Most High has been using, you know, your help and your support. It says he's been, like I said, just, he brings this stuff out when he's ready. He, you know, I said, there's, trust me, there's other information that I have not brought out yet either that the Most High is going to have me bring out as well, Most High willing, you know, um, on his time. And, uh, and then we'll go from there. But as he said, just... Every time the Most High gives, hey, he's like, hey, it's time to go. Here, get this information out. And then when I, when I put it out, I just like, now I start to look at what, how this is going to affect the Gentiles. How is this going to affect what's going on? Because I already know that this stuff is going to affect them. Yeah, the Rings of Power. I try to check out, I'm going to try to check out some of it. It's, like I said, I, I limited on my time, you know. I said, but I'm definitely going to try to check that out as well. Yes, like I said, there's, there's, all these, all these new shows, they're putting more information out. Isn't it amazing? I said, I said they're, just, they're just spilling the beans with all these new shows now. Before, you know, we would check them out and be like, oh, that's cool, We're entertaining, whatever else. Now it's like, okay, you checked out this show. Did you see this? Did you make this connection here? Did you see this? Did you make this connection with that? I said, it's like I said, it's a, it's a whole new world. At the Most High, the Most High is the ones making them fall on their sword. The Most High is the one that's making them bring all this information out. They've been bringing it out. So like, we kind of go back and take a look at these older shows and older movies. You start to see things. I'm like, oh, okay. They weren't trying to hide it. They just, it, it, it was just sitting there until it was time for us to wake up. Yep, video games too. Legend of Zelda, uh-huh. I used to, what was it, play this game, Age of Empires. And, um old computer game and sometimes I would be the Spanish and it would give you an explorer at the beginning of the, uh, of the game and like certain explorers could like create certain things 
well, the Native Americans, uh, they could create wolves, okay? And then uh, I never understood. I was like, but the explorer for the Spanish created war dogs. Hey, war dogs? Why the hell they got war dogs? And then all of a sudden later on, you get the dogs of the conquest and you'd be like, I'd be like, because in most of the books, they're not telling you about them dogs. They ain't telling you about all that stuff. They keep all that stuff secret, but they put in a game so that when you do, if you ever came across that, uh, you know, Dogs of the Conquest book, then all of a sudden they, you'd, you'd make that connection. Dogs of the Conquest. That's why they're making dogs in this game. I said, and they're using those dogs to pretty much tear to shreds, you know, everyone. I was like, except that's their history. And they've been hiding it. And, they, and, all, and when they came over here, they, they tried to, you know, tried out their priests, you know, as, they, as they're coming out here and they're trying to do a, you know, a, a great deed for the, for, for white Jesus and whatever else. But, you know, they're like, technologically, they're like way more advanced than all the other civilizations. They were using dogs. They were, they had their priests that were, you know, healing people. And those, like I said, in the games, they put all this stuff in there. And then when you have your eyes open, you can see all this stuff. Yep, talking over our heads, uh-huh. Talking over our heads and we didn't get it, but now, like I said, now it's time. All praise, it's the most high, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who was wisdom? Who was the Holy Spirit? Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Shalom, family.